In this video tutorial, we'll go about making a stroll candy prop. This prop will be made out of styrofoam and is suitable for outdoors and indoor use. In order to make things easier, we'll be using two templates, which I have included the link on the description box. The first template will help to trace a circle shape. Cut the template around the mark area. Place the template on the foam board and start marking our first section of the circle. Next, use the center line from the template and locate it where the first circle section ended. Make sure the inner corner of the template lines up with the circle segment marked at first. Once everything is lined up, trace the second section and repeat until the complete circle has been traced. The diameter of the generated circle will be 12 inches. After tracing the circle, the next step will be to cut it using our hot wire foam cutting tool. I'll place a link to this tool and the needle materials on the description box. Be careful when using this tool, since it can cause serious burns if you were to touch it. Now, we need to prepare our second template. We'll be cutting the inside mark area with a sharp knife. An exacto knife will be ideal. This is what the template will look like after cutting the inside. Place the edges of the template with the edges of the foam and trace the inside area with the desired color marker. After tracing the first pattern section, place the template's first pattern and align it with the last pattern from the foam circle. Once aligned, continue tracing the rest of the template patterns. Repeat this step until the stroll patterns have been completed. Here's one tip. Mark the inside of the areas where paint will go. It is easy to confuse the paint areas if these are not identified. All is left to do is to add paint. Make sure to use acrylic paint type for this type of foam. Other paints might contain enamels which will melt and destroy the styrofoam. After the prop has dried out, you could wrap it on cellophane to protect it and create that wrap candy effect. I did this setup on mines. I had glued rectangular foam pieces to the back of the swirl, leaving some space for the stretchy cord to go under and then I attached them to my palm trees. Hopefully you could use this tutorial to make your own. This is all for today. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this clip helpful. For more tutorials, how to and product videos, visit handynoah.com.